Have you ever wondered how you can earn passive income, specifically with things like cryptocurrency using your computer that you may already have? What I have behind me is basically, it's my test bench, but it can also function as a gaming computer or say a workstation for video editing, things like that. And I'm gonna show you how I use the uh, CPU on this computer as well as the GPU to earn passive income with cryptocurrency in just a couple clicks. It's very easy to get set up people with no experience could get involved and if you don't even want to get involved with cryptocurrency you could go ahead and take your computer's power and it'll automatically be converted into bitcoin which is very easy to convert into usd which i'll elaborate here on in today's video i'm also going to go into an asic miner what that is the basics of that and how you can also connect that to this platform to mine any cryptocurrency get paid out in bitcoin which is the easiest cryptocurrency to convert into us dollars or other fiat or just kind of like normal money currency my name is vosk you're watching the vosk coin youtube channel and here is the most beautiful pup in the world tails vosk our resident doge and shiba inu and you're gonna see here for about 10 seconds that we're gonna roll the intro and jump into today's video guide that within about 10 minutes you'll be up mining cryptocurrency with hardware you probably already have In order to convert our GPU, our CPU, and ASIC computing power into basically hash power and thus it will earn cryptocurrency and thus passive income, things that can be sold for US dollars or kept in cryptocurrency, whatever you want to do, we're going to be using NiceHash. It's basically a hash power marketplace. We reviewed NiceHash last week, talked about all the good and all the bad associated with the platform. There's three major components of NiceHash. There's the cryptocurrency mining, buying hash power, and cryptocurrency exchange that you can no longer see. Part of the summary of that review is that it's a good option and it's very easy to get your computers uh, mining away on cryptocurrency and basically using that spare computing power to earn income, which is why we're going to be using it in today's video and it's only a couple clicks. So you're going to follow this link download it because today's video is focused all about selling your hash power it's a marketplace so you can buy hash power you can sell it and there's a couple other things you can do but today is going to all focus on turning you into a seller of hash rate and thus being compensated for it on their platform first things first you want to click the link in the video description below and it'll take you to the register portion on their site we have a referral link so if you do decide to sign up uh, please use the link as we get compensated if you buy hash power on their site it has nothing to do with your mining and it won't decrease your profitability at all and it also lets us know you know how many of you guys are interested in this stuff you want to know a fun fact nice hash was actually our gateway to mining this was the first mining program i ever used i didn't know how great it was back then i was <laughs> it's crazy i'm gpu mining decred and i'm making 60 cents a day which is also why this is so cool because nice hash is actually the sponsor of today's video making this all possible but uh, what a crazy journey it is so anyway just a little fun fact aside and a disclaimer there. What was the first mining program that you ever used? Did it lead to your addiction? Maybe obsession with cryptocurrency? Once you get signed up, you'll be met with the NiceHash dashboard. The purpose of this video, we're going to go to the mining section. You'll see I already have some mining rigs on here and I'll explain uh, basically how I got them connected. Well, really right now. So you need to figure out, are you gonna be adding just uh, a computer that you have like say a gaming computer or a gpu mining rig something like that or even just a straight cpu mining rig and for that if you already have windows loaded on there you can download simply the nice hash miner which is what today's video is all gonna be focused about it's very easy to do and it doesn't interrupt you know your computer process it's just gonna be a program on your computer you run when you're not using it. And then there's also Nice Hash OS. It's a dedicated operating system for mining. You're welcome to explore that. We're not gonna be covering that in today's video. You can also connect an ASIC mining rig. An ASIC is an application specific integrated circuit miner. It looks like these. These are purpose built computers that literally all they do is mine cryptocurrency and they normally only mine one type. We will cover connecting an ASIC miner later in this video after we go over using your basically Windows computer. So yeah guys, literally all you do is click this and you click download and 
and maybe there's actually not a current Mac version. I know it used to be supported. Maybe they're only supporting Windows right now with their new 3.0 minor, but whatever. You click download and then uh, it'll take you to this site. And from here, you can just download the most relevant version. So we can just click this and then it'll prompt you to download that. Once you download the program, you're literally just gonna double click it to install it. It's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. I've already installed it. So this is what it's gonna look like when you boot it up. Um, you know, in the following times. Basically, it's just gonna load up right here. You also may be wondering, what is this? This is called MSI Afterburner. It's an overclocking tool. It's, you know, official supported overclocking tool from MSI, very popular graphics card producer. I'm using very simple overclock settings. I'm reducing my power limit to 80%. I'm increasing my overclock and memory clock by plus 100. And I'm also setting a fan speed because I don't like when it goes between different fan speeds. It's annoying. I like a static fan speed that keeps it at a good temperature that will uh, you know you just get that static white noise so these are safe overclock settings that will slightly reduce your power consumption which will reduce your electric cost of running your graphics card and the bumping of the core memory clock will slightly increase your hash rate um, when you're mining basically slightly increase your potential earnings here once you get it installed you're going to go through a benchmark process this is critical Critical. When you are going through the benchmark process, you want to enable all of them because you want to have nice hash the program understand what you know the capabilities of your hardware is and then it can plug it into the most profitable coins to mine for you because these things are constantly changing. If for example, you know, Beam V2 becomes very profitable for your, you know, for whatever reason, they're going to move your hardware over there and you're going to be paid more earnings. So it's important to get all of these benchmarks in here if it's possible for your graphics card. If you're having any issues, I would recommend restarting it and uh, running that benchmark again. Also, this is critical. Is it Critical. Nice hash will often be recognized as a virus, and that is because Windows, you know, common antivirus programs view mining software as viruses. But Nice hash does not have any viruses, and neither do the mining software that they have, at least currently at the time of this video, and their professional platform. So obviously, they're going to want to keep that stuff away from you as the end user because their whole platform would crumble here. So just kind of keep that in mind. You have mutually aligned interests here. If you run into any kind of antivirus issues you need to uh, basically allow it on your system do not let it be quarantined and then try running the program again uh, another critical thing is that when you start this program you want to right click it and run as administrator click yes the reason being for this is that this will this is basically the simple and quick way to allow better settings for your CPU miner and if you do not run it as an administrator, it's likely that random X Monero may not it may not benchmark properly. And this is the only way your CPU will mine profitably. It's the only good CPU mineable coin uh, that's associated with nice hash. And it's the most popular CPU uh, mineable coin in the world. As far as setup, you need to ensure that your wallet address in this miner is associated with the wallet address in your account. So if you look at your deposit address right here, it's going to give you this address. That is the address that you want to be mining to. Otherwise, your rigs will not show up over here in your rig manager. You also have the opportunity to name your worker. So if you have two computers you want to connect, you could put computer one, computer two. I just put Voscoin here. You also have the ability to select your server location. I'm in the US, so obviously that's going to be my server location. And I'm always a fan of dark themes if I should have that ability to choose. So here's the fun part. You successfully benchmarked your computer and now it knows what are the most profitable coins for it to mine. For example, with mine, it's gonna be the most profitable for my uh, uh, 1660 Super to mine the Zhash mining algorithm, which these are specifics you don't actually really need to worry about, but sometimes it's good to know exactly what's your computer doing. So it's mining Zhash here, and then this is mining Monero on the random X mining algorithm. There's two different windows because this is my CPU mining. This is my GPU mining. And these may be mining specific coins, or they are mining 
uh, specific coins on these mining algorithms, but NiceHash will automatically exchange these coins for you on their like the back end of their service. That's part of their service here, and you will get paid in an associated amount of Bitcoin, and it'll also let you know a USD value of uh, you know what you're earning. You will only get access to basic statistics here on your actual computer. You will want to go to your dashboard to get more detailed uh, statistics here. Don't pay too much mind to your you know current rig profitability because you'll notice it'll go up and down you know rather significantly you know it can increase by 3x i mean look, look we just went up to four dollars and 57 cents a day and up to 76 and 76 cents a day which is both of these are like four times what we were uh, previously making there so the most important thing to monitor your profitability it's not to look at your projected income which is you know interesting to look at every four hours nice hash will make a payment into your bitcoin wallet on their platform you need to withdraw the bitcoin from their platform in order to you know keep it for yourself and hold it long term or exchange it to us dollars so right here we can see that in this four hour period you know we accumulated you know point oh 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 five nine 35 Bitcoin, which is 5,935 Satoshis, which is like if you think of a $1, uh, Satoshis are like pennies uh, compared to uh, the dollar there. It's a smaller denomination in uh, layman terms and a little bit easier to say than point oh 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 Bitcoin. The proper way to calculate your current mining income is to let it run for at least a day. So let's take these payments, right? And we know that we've got a full four hours going into all of these because there's been no downtime on this computer, right? So basically every payment, it's getting almost 50 cents, but I added up these uh, exactly. And so we take payment one, two, three, four, five, and six, all associated with April 29th. And those totaled up to 0 0.0034569 Bitcoin or almost 35,000 Satoshis. And what that equates to in a US dollar amount is $3. So my CPU miner and my GPU miner and my uh, inexpensive ASIC mining rig all earned combined three dollars um, in, in usd yesterday so basically without factoring the electric cost all my stuff's earning three dollars pretty good for equipment that all came out in 2018 except for a graphics card that's uh not particularly powerful at mining to be clear i'm using a 1660 super which this is a little bit more of a, an expensive graphics card uh for what it is just because it's one of the newest nvidia graphics cards but it, it wouldn't be necessarily the best thing for mining it's one of the better newer cards for mining but whatever i could go on well it's, it's basically a 200 250 graphics card i have a ryzen 1700 which you know these go uh, on ebay for between like 100 and 150 dollars on at on their average sale price right now and the asic miner i'm using is the inno silicon equihash asic miner the a9 and uh, this thing, you know, on average goes for about $400 to $500 in the current market. So to put it simply, without factoring the electric cost in, which is obviously an important part, all my uh, computer hardware would pay itself off at the current trajectory within a year, which is pretty cool, especially if you don't pay for electric. And that's all it takes and all the relevant details for CPU and GPU mining with the computer you may have or your GPU mining rig. If you want to add an ASIC miner, I'm going to keep it brief in this video. Uh, so basically you'll just pick a worker name and then you will just pick the mining algorithm that's relevant to it so again the one i just showed you is an equihash asic miner i'm in the us so i'm going to pick the usa server location because that would be the closest to me and thus give me the best uh results there all you have to do is take this this and this and copy it all into the three slots on the asic miner very simple stuff and we've got like literally like 100 videos going over this kind of stuff. So now you understand the mining, selling hash power aspect of all of this, but what do you do with your money once you earn it? You see, over the past, uh, you know, couple weeks basically we've accrued about $45 worth of Bitcoin on here or 0.0054745 Bitcoin or I don't even do that just clicks right up between these two options but you can see your Bitcoin value there because that's what's important this is just an estimate of the current Bitcoin price like understand you're dealing with Bitcoin you have Bitcoin so this is on their platform and if something were to happen to their platform you know you would potentially lose this so it's important to withdraw this on regular intervals normal people every week 
every month at the latest is what I'd recommend uh, when you withdraw this stuff. So for this, you're going to simply take your Bitcoin wallet, which is like you can load other coins into here as well. But we're just going to focus on the Bitcoin aspects, which is what you'll get paid in here when you're mining on NiceHash. So that's just going to stay the same. And then you need to add a withdrawal address to your account. You can actually literally connect a Coinbase account to NiceHash and they will pay out to that. With that, uh, you can sell your coin for US dollars and transfer it to your bank account all through Coinbase. We have a referral link for that in the video description below if you'd like to support Boscoin and you are going to sign up for that. Uh, or you can add a new withdrawal address. So like right here, we have uh, an address of ours, Bitcoin address. So I can go ahead and click this and then click use max. And then let's see, so we're with this, we will have this as our fee. So keep in mind there's fees associated with most things in cryptocurrency. There's also a minimum withdrawal amount. We are five times that, so that's no problem. This is a very fair fee of four cents. Keep in mind that this platform does have an associated fee mining with it. So I hope you didn't think that they were gonna provide all these services for free, that's fine. And you know what you're paying for is the ease of access and the ease of use. Well, through a couple clicks, you're getting set up in mining. And then, you know, a couple clicks like this and uh, it's withdrawn. So I can go ahead and click this. I will understand, I will withdraw. And just like that, it's withdrawn to your wallet. As far as where to send your Bitcoin to turn it into dollars, if you're in the US, we recommend a Gemini, Crypto.com and Coinbase. These are three popular and reputable exchanges. We actually have referral links for all of them in the video description below. They'll give you between like $10, I think, $10 over here if I recall. And a Crypto.com will give you $50 if you sign up with them, but you do have to buy some of their coins to get their debit card associated with that, the fine print, stuff like that. But basically, it's not a big deal. It's pretty easy and it's nothing to be uh, afraid of doing. And just like that, guys, you took your idle uh, computing power that was in you know, either your gaming rig, an old computer you had, a workstation PC, or a GPU mining rig that you have. Uh, you know, this also applies to big mining farms if you would like to partake in you know, using NiceHash and auto exchange and, and stuff like that. The, there's no limits, essentially, here. And uh, yeah, guys, it's, it's just that easy. If you want to use ASIC miner, we showed you it's pretty easy. You just click, click, and you copy and paste that. They also have firmware, which is basically software dedicated to certain ASIC mining rig models. And uh, that'll make uh, remote control through their platform possible. At the end of the day, guys, this is one of the best options out there to quickly get up to speed in mining in cryptocurrency, especially if you're a beginner here and you don't want to deal with the hassle of different wallets and different coins. And you can just keep it simple with Bitcoin and you can keep that Bitcoin or you can sell that Bitcoin. It's whatever you want to do. But one thing that you should do, you better hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up on the video, leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts on this video, your thoughts on NiceHash and if you've had good results or bad results. We're interested to hear all about it. So as always, appreciate you. I'll see you on the next video.